these two little monkeys sitting there having breakfast. <laughs> the couch out, watching, what are we watching, Nelly, piece of rabbit, Tommy Brock. Yeah, tell me again. This is for Flora and me, and, and, and this is the top of Vale's castle. Is it? And this is the steps of Vale's castle. Okay. And this is the makeup of Belle's castle. Wow. Anything else? And some dresses. Ah, uh -huh, dresses, lovely. And to... some bags and makeup and lovely. stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're back. With a couple of noisy kids in the back of the car. Back on form to start our blogs off. We've had a couple of weeks out. Kids are in the back. Two my head in. We are stuck in traffic. Look at that. And guess what? It's five past nine. Kids were due in school at nine o'clock, of course. And it's um, five past nine now. And guess what? Craig had a train ticket for Rainhill to take me into town for three meetings today. Three quite important meetings that we've been looking forward to all year long. A lot of planning research has gone into them for probably many years and it can change the pathway of where I go with our properties that I've spent 20, 25 years building up. So I'm going to be late for my meeting. Hey ho. Wow. What a cold morning it is. <laughs> Even these puddles are frozen up. Sydney, come back here. Come here. Careful. <laughs> you know this is gonna go wrong. There's a train. Sydney's got a tendency of running after trains. <clears throat> but, uh, I think this morning the ice has got the better of her. Normally she runs after them down a path, but Today she isn't. Now I'm not going to walk across this, I'm going to walk around it. Hello and a very good morning on this freezing cold uh, Saturday morning, Saturday the 21st of January and uh, a belated Happy New Year. I've been off vlogging for a little break from it from the last three weeks. Uh, not that it needs a break from vlogging but I just had had so much boring stuff to do, administration stuff. I don't know about you guys, but when you come back after New Year, I mean, we had a quiet Christmas and New Year, but a family over and stuff, but I couldn't get into the swing of things work-wise. The staff didn't come back for a week or so. And uh, this Sydney, look at her, she's tied out now, running around here on the field. But yeah, just couldn't get kick-started. I had loads of loose ends to tie up from the year before. We knew we weren't going to be starting doing any work until kind of mid or the end of February. But uh, we didn't get moved into the new office, which is a bit of a shame. So it gave me a chance to sort out the old office and file loads of paperwork, throw loads of paperwork away. Oh, that feels great, doesn't it? Throwing loads of rubbish away and trying to get yourself a little bit more focused on the new year. But we're making some big, big changes. One we'll announce in the next week or so. A uh, bit of an end of an era, but it's, um, it's all positive. And then also been focusing on my properties as well. Anyone who's in has properties and is a landlord, they'll know themselves things haven't been that good uh, with the way it works as a landlord. And also financing them as well is kind of quite difficult. I've been in property for over 25 years now and we've got quite a number of properties. And over the years, we have managed to pay off some of the mortgages on some of them, and some of them are still mortgaged. And anyone who has a fluctuating uh, mortgage at the minute, they'll know that the prices are going up and up and up, and it's not good. The Bank of England base rate keeps rising because of the state of the economy at the moment. So I've decided on some big changes, and it took me these last couple of weeks just to get my head focused and cleared on it, and took a a bit of uh, good professional advice as well about what directions we're going to go with them. We are going to sell some of them off as well. And uh, kind of, I don't know, 
try and reap the benefits of all my hard work for the last 25 years because I feel as if I haven't actually gained any benefits from my properties. But hey ho, that is what it is. We've had an uh, we've had a good good time in the media, so that's kept us busy and focused, you know. Hope you guys have had good Christmases, good New Year's, and the January you've stuck to your New Year resolutions, and uh, you've had a good fresh start, a fresh cold start. Put my gloves off. I don't know why. So yeah, we're going to get back to the daily blogs. You're probably not going to see this till Monday night. We'll edit this on the Monday, Saturday now, and it'll go out Monday evening, and then we'll hopefully be back on track for the daily blog. Keep you updated to what we're up to. <laughs> Look at that weather out there. Come on, Nelly. Let's go and find the den. Go for a walk beside it, it'd be nice. <laughs> Come on, Moody, you're going the wrong way. You want to go back home? Why is that? <sighs> Kids these days, eh? Come on, darling, come with us. nice and quietly because I'm just about to do a live Zoom call with a Cameron Mitchell from BBC Radio Ulster. Uh, we're in Ireland there, so it should be good. It's 12.01 now. I think I'm going live at 12.03. But the good thing is, is this came through yesterday as a request and the producers wanted me to be a guest on the show. However, the presenter does not know it's me because he's got a guest. So... I've got to kind of be very vague with my answers and just the odd one word here and there. And maybe try and disguise my accent. What do you think, guys? Got <laughs> any, no. any chance of disguising my accent? <clears throat> this presenter doesn't know anything about me. So here we go. We're going to go uh, live on here now. That never looks good, does it, when you see that picture there and you see Sydney's tongue, not Sydney, Rafiki's tongue hanging out. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Join with the video. I always come on these things and forget to do my hair. I'm plenty wax on it near my hair. There's life. So we'll see, oops. Hello. I, I can hear you a little bit. Is that camera in? Yes, I can hear you now. Yeah. So this is Cameron. Um, good to meet you. And thanks for doing this short notice. My pleasure. Uh, it's, a, it's a new feature that we're doing. Um, the, the whole idea is that Connor, our presenter, um, he has a, a surname like yourself, Connor Phillips. Connor Phillips. Um, <laughs> he, he has no clue um, who it's going to be. So he, 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 start, he has about two minutes to kind of ask you kind of yes or no questions. You don't yes. get too much away. Sure. And then, and then at the end, he can chat to you about you know um, your career and what you're up to. And oh, lovely. Yeah, way <clears throat> and stuff as well. Great. So, Look forward to it. I'm just going to feed you down here. Um, like right. So, uh, are you from the world of entertainment? Kind of. Does what you do entertain people? I like to think so. Are you a singer? <laughs> <laughs> Debatable. Have you ever produced any music that's been heard by anyone else and you got paid for it? Mm, yes. Okay, yes, right. <clears throat> um, ha did you sing a song, any one song, that may be more popular than your other songs? No. Okay, so all your other songs are, are equally as popular? There's only been one. Oh, there's only been one. So what if, can I call you a one-hit wonder? <laughs> I've been called Wes. Wes. So are you from the Merseyside area? Yes. I've been called Wes. As soon as you said Wes there now, I was like, this guy's... <laughs> this guy is clearly, clearly of the Scouse persuasion. Okay, so one head wonder from, I'm going to say, are you from the 1990s? No. Are uh, you from the 2000s? Yeah. 1990s, okay. Did, did, your, did your song chart in the British charts? Yes. 
Did it to the chart high in the British charts? Mm, number 12. Number 12, okay, 12 in the British <coughs> charts. Uh, 2000. Were you in a band or did you do it solo? Solo. Solo. Okay, were you, were you ever in a reality TV programme? Yeah, one or two. Were you in the t reality TV programme before you did the song? Yeah. Okay. Um, have you ever done any building ever? <laughs> Once or twice. Would you be known for building? Yeah. Would I have watched you on YouTube over the last number of weeks talking about something that is coming up soon, but you made YouTube videos for it? Yes, possibly. Have we spoken before on a radio station when I used to work in Liverpool up a big tall tower? Possibly. I've is been up the tall Craig, tower. Is, is, is this Craig Phillips formerly up of Big Brother? It is Cameron, well done. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. You got me. <laughs> I've interviewed you before. I used to work for Radio City and Radio City Talk. Yes. And we have met before... I don't know if it was in the tower or we did this down the line similarly to this. But anyway, anyway, welcome to the show. Great, you, <laughs> Thank you. Thanks very much for having us. It's great to hear your voice again. I can take, I can turn the video <laughs> on there. Hold on, Cameron's allowing me to turn the video on so I can actually see your face. Okay. Uh, there you are, brother. There how I are am. <laughs> yeah. how, is, how is life with you? Good to have you, buddy. Life um, is really good. Thank you. I've got a little bit old, a little bit greyer and a man married with two beautiful children. <laughs> Yes, what you got? A nice cup of tea for me, let's see. Oh, lovely. Yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? Has Lennon been cooking? You got your apron on? Hey, you've been cooking? Let's eat and that's right. Oh, what you found, Nelly? Zebra. Zebra? Wow, isn't that lovely? Yeah, right. I don't think you're allowed to ride on him, no. So that was our first swim of the year. That's, uh, I don't even know what it's called. Public swimming baths. You like that? Oh, the big oh. baby. Oh, it's coffee time. Hot chocolate. I've just got a new jacket showing off. Oh, no. uh, Nelly, what's Nelly got? Oh, look at these lovely cakes. Oh, cakes. Oh, oh. Ah, lovely. He's got his rice cake. Rice cake. <laughs> Here and now, you eat your heart out. <laughs> Good hoovering going on here, Nelly. Lovely. Are you having a hoovering party? Look at Kevin's belly. Yeah. Make you a little bit more comfy. Oh, Nelly, who's this? This is Coda, look. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, You're looking after the baby. What's her name, Lennon? Coda. What's her name? Coda. I know, let Lennon say Coda. And there's Marley. Look, no? hello, Marley. How are you? You playing doctor today? Coda. Coda. That's your little sister, isn't it? <laughs> say a quick hello to Kate over here as well. Hello, Kate. Hi. And Phil. <laughs> So just let Sydney outside our door, draw the wee, and it's snowing. Our driveway is full of snow. <laughs> 